Roanoke area, particularly the case of Paul Patterson, uh, is one that comes to mind that if funds had made, been made available to Paul to come to residential treatment at Edgemead, as the state of Virginia had suggested, uh, maybe a couple of disasters would have been prevented. Uh, Paul was in the state care, and the psychiatrist for the state had recommended that this child be sent to Edgemead of Virginia for treatment. No funds were available at that time. Uh, if the folks uh, responsible could realize how much money is, being, is going into uh, Paul's trial and how much money will go into keeping Paul in a penal setting all of his life, if just one little bit of that fund, those funds had been made available for treatment for that child, perhaps, perhaps disaster would have uh, been prevented. It costs $5,000 a year to keep a child uh, in reform school in Virginia. 85% uh, of the children that go into our reform schools, uh, after they leave, they come back because of law violations. Uh, I think if our society can realize that if we go out all out for intensive psychiatric, psychological help for these children, uh, maybe we're really in the long run making an economical move in saving lives and saving money.